fresh sights. I'm very thirsty. That refugee needs some medicine. You're very kind. Thank you. Cormier, bless you. Thank you. Master! Your gods have turned their backs on you. Palmyr, bless you. Back to save us all. Balthazar sees. Balthazar knows. Thank you. Your gods have turned their backs on you. Balthazar has come back to save us all.
I'm sorry, we're having trouble finding room for all of you. There's a... My strength increases! Raptors love fireflies. See how many you can catch together. You may need more training to reach the ones up high, but no worries, you'll get there. Excellent, Jones. Here's something to put more spring in your mouth. Take it off. Adrenaline. 
Turn surging. Casino staff are here Sorry to for the gate earlier. I get all kinds of people in here, and the stories they tell to get inside. Not that I blame them, but the city can only take so many before bursting. So, I take it you're here for Balthazar. I am. I'm looking for a place to start. Any information you have would be helpful. Hmm. Well, your guildmates are being hosted by the chief counselor at the Civic Center. She can fill you in about the state of the city and the surrounding area. And she might know something about Balthazar, too. Sounds good. Anything from the ground level? Someone who's dealt with him or his army firsthand? My deputy Ayub is at the camp run by Komir's priesthood. The refugees there may be of help. And then there's... Hmm... How do you feel about getting a little lower than ground level to find what you want? I have a deputy assigned to the local smugglers, the Hamasin. Name a case. Not so sure he's mine anymore. But you might seek him out, if you don't mind walking on that side of the line, of course. I think I can stomach it. You'll find them at the casino. Tread lightly. Hi, Outlander. Let me know if you need help getting your bearings.
A high commander. Your guildmates were just regaling us with tales of your adventures. You honor us. It's not every day a dragon slayer walks through our door. The counselor must have misunderstood my part of the story, or she wouldn't be bending over backward to inflate your ego. Well, thank you for the compliment, but this time I'm not after a dragon. I'm after Balthazar. Do you have any information on his whereabouts? The god himself? We only know he's constantly on the move, chasing who knows what. And that Amnun is essentially surrounded by his troops, which maybe you have some insight into. We're at a bit of an impasse. Joko's government sent representatives of the Morden Crescent to Amnun to offer military support against the Forged. The Morden Crescent may no longer be the honorable Sunspears they once were, but they would make powerful allies. And in a time like this, we need all the help we can get. You people have history books? Open any one of them and it'll tell you short-term gains bring long-term trouble. The Chief Counselor has the right idea. We should be grateful the Mordant Crescent are even considering helping us. We should fly Joko's standard and make it clear we welcome his kingdom's support. We've resisted Joko for years. I'm not about to let him waltz in. And without a fight? Never. It's nonsense. Our only option is to align ourselves with Cormier's priesthood and the remaining Sunspears. Allying with either side will only lead to future conflict. Amnon has been independent, and should remain independent. <sighs> and round and round it goes. I'd welcome any counsel you might have, Commander. It's easy for your char friend to dismiss the threat we face. Joko is nobody's first choice, but we can't afford to turn down the Archon's offer. The Mordant Crescent are the only ones with the strength to ensure our survival. The Sun Spear's numbers are weakened, but their involvement could still be a beacon of hope. Their order has sacrificed everything to defy Joko and the Mordant Crescent. They'll protect us from the Forge. Amnun must remain independent. Our doors have always been open. It's how we survived this long. The moment we pick a side, we're asking for trouble from the others. And you, Counselor? You're awfully quiet over there. There are no good options here. All of these plans are suicidal. I can't endorse any of them. These people should just look out for themselves. The minute these yapping windbags let a creature like Joko into this city, they give up any hope of freedom. He might be the biggest gun around here, but what happens after the Forge are defeated? Every decision you make has a cost. In this case, all the people have to do is serve Joko forever after they die. What a deal! Spear Marshal Cormier was a local hero, even before she fought a fallen god and took his power. Her Sun Spears have always encouraged these people to keep fighting, even when darkness is closing in. They may be a small group now, but an alliance with the Sun Spears would be the light in the dark this city needs. Thank you for your input, Commander. I tend to agree. We'll continue to fly our own flag. And Noon will face the Forged as a free city, with gates open to all. A council actually making a practical and timely decision? <sighs> Call the town crier. This has to be a first. At least the Sun Spears are still welcome. King Joker will make sure we regret this decision. You... You just killed us all! May Cormir forgive us. Thank you, Chief Counselor. Commander. A moment, Commander. These people are desperate. Caught up in a war they don't understand. Balthazar came to the desert for Krakatoric, not for them. But why? Why is he doing it? This is why I wanted you to pick the Sun Spears, to represent Cormir. She might guide us to answers or intervene in Balthazar's actions, especially if his goal is noble, but his path is not. Your hope is... inspiring. 
Thanks. Have you heard from Tiny? I couldn't get a clear signal. Guess I should try again. I have some big news to share. There must be some place that's clear of interference. I'll look once I finish gathering information. What do you want? You case? Maybe. Who's asking? Captain Rahim sent me. He's under the impression that you have access to Hamasin's network. Yeah? He's wrong. So beat it. Listen carefully, friend. I'm here to kill the god of war. Don't think I won't swat any flies that get in my way. Well, if that's your angle, then you need Zalambor. He runs things. He is the Homocene's network. He's usually in his office in the casino. But he's a very busy man. I'm sure he'll spare a few moments for me. Spear and the dragon. Dragon consumes all. House wins. Bring me things I can't find locally, and I'll get you access to a vast kingdom of new customers. You must be Zalambur. I am. My friends, let's adjourn for now. In the meantime, my casino is yours. Enjoy the Grand Sahil's many luxuries. You spared me from a few more minutes of dealing with those smugglers. For this, I owe you.
But next time, make an appointment. Maybe I should explain why I'm here. Oh, I know why you're here, Commander. What I don't know is what it's got to do with me. Elonian wine? I'll pass. You sure? It's not poisoned or anything. I'm offended, Zalambor. You've never once offered me wine. Ah! I present to you Archon Ibero, of the Morden Crescent. Archon? The commanders come to us all the way from Lion's Arch. Morden Crescent? One of Palawa Joko's undead? I'll be honored with awakening soon enough. But today I still have a pulse, Outlander. As I'm sure you're aware, Chief Counselor Iman invited me here to discuss military aid for Amnoon. And just as I arrive, I hear the Council has decided against the Alliance. It's not too late, Zalambor. Reverse this situation before it gets any more out of hand. Me? I wasn't even there when they made this decision. That's beside the point. Here's the point. Sweet, sweet, what are you? Don't. Upon the next meeting of the council, your laptop counselor will have a sudden change of heart. Please. Enough of this. Awaken. Reduce this eye sort of rubble. It's unwise to intervene in our affairs. I'm full of unwise ideas. But protecting the living from the red army is a problem. Take it off. My apologies for the unpleasantness, Commander. This is why I insist on appointments. Happy to help. Mainly because now you owe me. The fact that I'm still able to walk is a point in your favor for sure. And this time of war does make for strange bedfellows. Cormir knows I've had worse. I'm only after Balthazar, you understand? I can't be dragged down by whatever else you've got going on. My organization makes it possible for me to do many things. Fund public works, 
donate to our refugee guests. Keep candle after candle burning at Cormir's temples. <sighs> I never wanted to cross the Morden Crescent, but I suppose it was inevitable. I'm grateful you were here for the Archon's Overture, so I'll keep an ear to the ground on your behalf. Deputy, Captain Rahim pointed me in your direction. Would you mind if I talk to a few of the refugees about Balthazar? You're welcome to try. Not a lot of folks are in a talking mood. This camp's gonna be no better than the places they fled if we can't get more aid out here soon. I'll see what I can do. Maybe people will be more inclined to talk when they feel safer. We certainly wouldn't say no to some help. Priestess Karima can tell you what we need most. Good fortune to you. Excuse me, can you tell me what happened to you? We fled north to escape Balthazar's forged. They've been marching the same way lately, up into the highlands. <sighs> At this rate, we'll run out of places to retreat to in no time flat. Excuse me, can you tell me what happened to you? I... We left a group hiding from forged attacks in Destiny's Gorge, after walking out of the Elon Riverlands to the south. We thought we were in the clear, but... But we were followed. I, I had a chance to run, and I... I took it. I still hear the screams. I ran when it started, and... Ah, oh, Duena, forgive me. I'm a coward. I should have died with them. No. You shouldn't have. And take heart. Balthazar will pay for this. Thank you. I won't forget I'm this. So thirsty. What happened to you out in the desert? We very nearly didn't make it out alive. We escaped the salt flats right before a forged invasion. Balthazar has turned the whole desert upside down and... Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it anymore. What happened to you out in the desert? We were coming down from the highlands when we ran into a branded ambush. No one would have survived if Vlast hadn't flown in and saved us. Vlast? You know, the dragon? Glint's offspring. Don't you mean Gleam? Gleam was the name the bards gave him. But his true name is Vlast. He's a savior with wings. We owe him our lives. That's... that's the first scion. Marine's brother. He's a good dragon? He carries on his mother's work. Cormir, praise him. Where can I find him? No one knows where he roosts. He just shows up to contest the branded. So Orin has a brother. That's great news. I hope. Wait until Tymie hears about this. It looks like I'm done here. Now to see if I can reach Tymie. She said higher ground.
Me. Do you read? Come in. I must not be getting a signal. I'm here, Commander. I read you. Glad you made it to the Crystal Desert in one piece. You are in one piece, right? So far. Did you duke it out with the fire guy yet? What's happening? Update. Update now. Balthazar's got the desert in chaos. I'm trying to find the shortest route to him to... But I think the biggest news I've heard is a story about a dragon, Vlast. Supposedly, he's another scion of Glint, Orin's brother. What? Well, tell me all about him! What's his height, wingspan, powers? Did he eat anybody in front of you? Well, I haven't met him yet, but I'll let you know. How are things in Radonovis? It's hard to change people's minds with conjecture, so I'm trying to prove that killing dragons isn't ideal. I'm also trying to get all the Dragon Lab info into Scruffy so I can become more mobile. It's a madhouse in the lab now. They're giving tours. Tours! Ugh. Speaking of which, here comes one now. Check back in when you get a chance. You should have seen Iman's face when we said we were leaving because we were invited to the casino by its owner. <laughs> Anyone who gets that reaction out of a stuffed shirt almost made me think I might like this solemn old guy. Kanak, what are you doing here? Enjoying your time off? Freedom is a sweet drink, Commander. I've been busy quenching my thirst. You should join us. We were just about to meet with... Zalambur. I already know a thing or two about this place. A Silvari gambler who's up 500 gold is just my cover, I promise you. Now that he's free, it's okay if I kill him, right? Gentlemen, let's keep it civil. How about it, Kanak? While my freedom's been gratifying, it's also a little boring. This is much more interesting. 
Besides, I may have made a wager that the Slayer of Elder Dragons can take down a god. And I intend to collect. What are the odds? <laughs> Let's not jinx it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. It's an honor to have the members of Dragon's Watch in my humble establishment. Please, follow me. The Grand Zaheel is already back to running at full capacity, and no small part due to your earlier intervention. We have all the finest games and entertainment the Crystal Desert has to offer. Do you enjoy games of chance? When the odds are in our favor. I reached out across my network for information about Balthazar, and I think I know what he's after. Krakatoric. You're half right. He's currently hunting down a crystal dragon, but that dragon is of last. I wonder why he'd suddenly change targets. Who among us can understand the will of a god? I do know his forged army has encampments all over the crystal desert. He stops at these camps to rally his troops while he's on the dragon's trail. So we might be able to intercept him at one of the forged camps. You've come through, Zalambor. I actually don't regret keeping you alive. The feeling is mutual, Commander. I'll take my leave now. Enjoy your time here, please. Stay away from the high-stakes roulette. It's rigged. I knew it. So, who's up for a trip to one of these camps? Sounds good to me. Let's shut him down before he's responsible for anyone else's death. We don't want to rush in blindly. And if I'm going to be joining you again, I may as well make myself useful. I'll scout the main camp, see what I see, and report back. The main camp? On your own? Seems risky. Nah, not alone. I'll go with him. Hmm. Not the response I expected. Hey, vacations have a way of dulling a blade, so to speak. Can't let you fumble around unsupervised. That's more like it. All right. Kaz and I will check out the smaller outposts. Actually, I'll leave it to you if you don't mind. I have some matters to attend to. There's a temple of Cormir near one of the forged camps. You can find me there when you're done. It's my destiny. 